I bet you wish your TV didn't have any wires underneath it. These are low voltage old works box. But since they're low voltage, they don't have to be contained in the back. And the old works means they have these tabs on it so you can cut a hole in sheetrock that already exists and this tab flips up and tightens up to the sheetrock. Now I'm going to put two of these in. One near the TV and another one down below right behind the media cabinet. Now you want to make sure you put the box between two stud bays. You want to make sure you know where stud is so you don't start cutting this and find out you're on a stud. You want to be in the cavity on the wall. Now I know that I have studs here and here because that's where my uh, mounting bracket for my TV is bolted into. The box behind the TV, I like to mount it sideways. That way you've got more room for your wires to line up side by side. Now when I get down to the um, lower box, I'm going to mount it at the height of all my receptacles and vertical like a receptacle. It's a little more difficult to manage the wires through it that way in my opinion, but it looks nicer if you move the cabinet away. Now I can't find my keyhole saw this morning. And honestly, I just really didn't look, but a uh, Sawzall blade works just as good. Now the box should be able to just slide back in there. That. Now I'm not going to install this yet. Because I find it easier to pull the wires through without this in. What do you think about that? There's a bunch of wires in there. I find it easier to get my hand through this hole than through this hole. And sometimes you got to get your fingers back in there to help fish the wires out. She will. Why? Because you're doing this. I don't want mommy to be angry. She would be dusty and all dusty. Look back in there, see what you see. Huh? Look back in there, see if you see the monster that's in there. I <laughs> don't see any monsters. <laughs> it's always a good idea. I'm not doing it right now because I don't have them, but it's always a good idea to run as many cables as you have ports on your TV. If you have two HDMIs, go ahead and run two HDMIs. Have them plugged into your TV and ready. That way if you ever need another one, it's already there and you just plug it into your device. Now you can run a fish wire, but honestly for such a short distance, it's usually not necessary. But I do like to tape all the wires together. That way the heavier wires can help pull down the lighter ones. Hey, you don't need a knife. I can cut the hole. Yeah, it can it cut your finger too? Mm -hmm. Or chainsaws it could cut. Now, just take your wires and fish them through the box. Mm -hmm. one. for the bottom and install the face plates and it'll be time to hang the TV back. So now the only thing left to do before hanging the TV back is to install these face plates. They have a little slot filled with brushes so you can pull cables through them. You can just pick these up at your home store. Quick tip on that, they're not going to be with the rest of the face plates. They'll actually be with wherever the cables are for audio and visual. You may notice since the last step I've gained another HDMI cable. Well, I actually decided while I was doing this to run an HDMI cable from my computer over to here. I have an RF keyboard and mouse coming in that has a 30 foot range on it that supposedly can go through doors and walls. So I'll be able to sit here and uh, watch YouTube videos on my TV. We'll see if that works or not. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing to be honest.
Now I like to leave my cords long out the top until I get them hooked to the TV. And then once they're pushed in, I can put all the slack back in the wall. So I've got the TV mounted and as you can see, there's no wires, nice clean look. So now all I gotta do is finish up the TV cabinet, which should be done, I would say in about another month or so. And um, then I can mount my electronics and whatever length of wire I don't need, I'll just shove back in the wall. Makes for a really nice and clean look.